Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Downshift. My name is Nestor and today we're doing another mod to the Corvette C8. Now listen here guys, this is not an aesthetic mod. It's not carbon fiber or anything like that. Although I have the AG Motorsports hat on, we're not doing anything with them. We're actually doing something uh, that's going to protect the car. And I think you guys are gonna be quite surprised once I show you that. So we arrived here at my brother's place and we're gonna go ahead and get this install going here. Look at this guy, I pull up, this guy's got coffee in his hand, but you didn't sleep or something? Funny guy, giving on? me his coffee. It's uh, it's looking quite nice now. Are we gonna show them what we did yesterday? I think we have to. All right, so yeah. we cheated a little bit and did part of this install yesterday. Anything look different to you guys? Anything at all? And, and you can probably tell, you know, from this angle. Now let's go over and check out the other side here. Now if you can't tell already, we put a radiator grill on the left side of the vehicle. Now, the reason why you put this here is for protection purposes. Um, the radiator was already banged up with rock chips and other uh, sorts of debris. So this is something that's really gonna protect the radiators and make them looking really good over time. So big shout out to radiatorgrillstore.com and thank you for the beer sleeve. We're definitely gonna be using that. If you guys wanna check them out, definitely go to the website. They got different stuff for Porsches too, but the Corvette is where it's at, so check them out. Yeah, so the company actually started out with uh, Porsche radiator grills, but when this car came out, they realized that they needed to help us out because the radiators at the front are so exposed and they're just getting damaged over time. Uh, remember when we linked up with uh, C8 Toronto? Yeah. The guy with the white C8 who's got a high wing, it's modded, he's got the uh, fab speed cats on it. His radiators, he showed me them, he was doing uh, some off-road kind of cruising, you know, a little, he was a little adventurous with this car and his radiators were banged up like no tomorrow. So this is something I definitely recommend for those of you who are gonna be doing some spirited driving if you don't have the best roads around you and uh, that's why we're installing it on our car right here. All right, so let's talk about how long this takes, what you need for the job, all that kind of stuff. Essentially all it is is T15 torque screws, of course. Uh, there's about 10 of them on each side, 10 on the left, 10 on the right, and those are gonna be dealer installed and so they're already there. All you need um, is something to take those out. And then of course, if you want to make the process a lot smoother, get yourself a lift to jack up one side of the car. Again, make sure you're using the correct jack points because that would be a disaster if something happened to the car. So essentially all you do is take off a panel right underneath this side and you slide the grill in and um, once it's inside, you kind of just make sure it's in the correct spot and then you apply some zip ties. Uh, it connects to this right here and it's, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. All right, so I'm taking the torque bit and I'm putting it in. There should be 10 of them in total. One, two, three, all the way to the back, all the way to the side here. And then this will pop down and it's gonna be nice and easy. 10 of them in total, so let's get that going. Okay, here's one. that's 10. 10 in total. Okay. What's interesting about these screws is that these are the same ones that you would actually put in if you have a uh, front lip and it's the same holes as well so once we get a front lip we're just going to be taking these off putting the lip in and then putting be these back in. Nice and easy. You see all the grime coming out like that. Look at that. New car with all that stuff. There we go. That is it. Perfect, so we're just gonna go ahead and slide the grill piece in there yep. and uh, get to work. And so once again, this is what it looks like on uh, the left side. We already have the radiator grill in place. If you can't tell where the zip ties are, then it's, uh, it's working perfectly because yeah. you're not really supposed to see it. There's small little zip ties. There's one under there, one over there, and finally we have one right there at the bottom. They're hard to see and that's, uh, that's kind of the point. And then finally, we have this one done as well. So like I said, this is two pieces. And if you are gonna be installing this, this is the exposed smooth side, and then this is the flat side. So the flat side is gonna go to the back, just like that. Okay, so if you're having some sort of fitment issues with these particular radiator grills, they're super simple to cut. I mean, it's, it's basically plastic, right? Yep. So it's not very difficult. What you wanna do is slide it in and then see if any piece of it needs adjusting for us. 
we actually have to just trim a little bit right here so we're gonna do that with just some scissors pretty yeah. basic stuff and we're gonna put it right back in and then once it fits perfectly we're gonna get the zip ties going that's it so just gonna cut some rough edges here let's go ahead and put it in just to show them how it's done yep it's very simple guys to slide it up on in here just make sure you know where you're going yeah put it in there okay and then slide it to the left i'm gonna use two hands there we go and there it is. Once it's in place, once it's nice and snug, then you can bust out the zip ties. We're just gonna do a little bit more uh, on the alignment front and then we're gonna get back to zip tying. You wanna just create these little bends in the zip tie and uh, just basically loop it around and uh, make sure to space them out. We're gonna put one zip tie here, one up top here. You guys can't see that in the top right corner. And then we're gonna have uh, one zip tie all the way over here just to kind of balance it out and make sure that uh, this pressure on each side of the grill so that it's not flapping around in the wind or anything like that. All right, so now that we have the zip tie obviously attached, we're just gonna go ahead and tighten it all the way. And then once it's nice and tight, we're gonna go ahead and cut the excess. So let me grab the scissors really quick here and uh, just cut off the excess. All right. There we go. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna push this to the back so that it's not visible. So just kind of work it this way, work it all the way behind. Yeah, so we just hid the uh, the part that's exposed behind there. It's really not that visible. We're shining a light on it right now and we're yep. close up with the camera. the camera. Otherwise, you know, it's it's really not visible. So that's one spot with the zip tie. We're gonna do one zip tie up here. And then last but not least, we're gonna do one zip tie in the top right corner just to balance it all out and make sure there's pressure uh, amongst all the points. It's nice though, it's such a clean finish. Yeah, it really is. Like, look at that, and that's just, that's the only silver thing on the car, and then this looks so sinister. Like, there's dents all over for rocks, there's like, you know, flies and bugs in there. Yep. It's really not that good, and uh, you don't want that happening to, to the front of your radiator, right? So once again, just create these little, you know, bends in the actual zip tie, hook it around, then once it's hooked, simply, you know, do the zip tie magic here. I like that sound. Once we, yeah, it's nice. Once we have it pretty tight here, go ahead and cut off the, the end, the excess, yep. Okay. Alrighty. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this to the back so that the, the bump is really not visible. Just keep going. Get that clasp out of the way there. Yep. So we push that bump all the way to the back. As you can tell, the zip tie uh, really isn't that noticeable. It's just, you know, yeah, nice you and hidden there. Here. So perfect. One more zip tie up here and we're done. Nice and easy. Just finesse it right through. We'll put this in front. Yeah, so this piece right here, the bigger one, we're actually putting it in front of this. But um, the way it works, actually, it might line up perfectly side by side. So it could look pretty great. Okay, so let me let's readjust. Yep. Okay, I got it. There we go. So just like that is how it's gonna sit, how I'm holding it. Yep. And if I push this piece, I don't know if you wanna have a look, you can't really see the other one behind it either. Probably not. And then if you look from here as well. See, so you can see there. You can't really see anything at all. So it's nice and flush. All right guys, so the job is now done on both sides. As you can see, we have the honeycomb hexagon pattern. Um, it looks really, really nice. So it complements the, uh, the grill that's already in there and so that's what it looks like on the right hand side. We zip tied everything. If you can't tell where the zip ties are, then uh, we did a good job. And of course, the most important thing is that the radiators will be protected and they'll look good over time. So that's always a bonus. Okay. And that is it. Pop back in place. Nice and easy. Screws right behind you. Oh, there she is. And then go ahead, grab the torque screws. Put it all back in and job will be done for the front end. Now we're just gonna lower the car. Pull it outside, see how it looks like in the sun. Go ahead. Very nice. Just like that. And as you notice, we got the most important piece, the Canadian hockey puck. Yes, sir. And there is your finished product. It looks really, really good, guys. It's amazing. That honeycomb design is uh, really matches, doesn't it? It really does. And I mean, the protection aside, it looks incredibly stealth because it's all black and we have the colors going with it. But let's just talk about the protection really quick. The radiator, as you already saw, is absolutely destroyed and you want to protect this thing. You don't want rocks getting in there. So you got to get yourself one of these. Again, a big shout out to uh, radiatorgrillstore.com. We'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to purchase this for yourself, for your Corvette C8, if you have a Porsche or anything like that, because they do work with a lot of different Porsche models. And uh, yeah, one last thing, guys, we want to thank you all so much for 10,000 subscribers. 10K, 10K. We finally hit the big milestone and uh, 
we want to thank you all so much for the support and all that kind of stuff. So drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more daily Corvette C8 content, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.